Hello, everybody. I'm Dan Hogan. And I'm Carolyn Robinson. And we welcome you this evening to Centel Spotlight. On the program tonight, we're out here at Oakwood Estates on Spirit Lake Road, just a mile south of 540 West here in Winter Haven. The event we're going to watch is the Senior Olympics. It's the second year for this event. We're going to see some horseshoe pitching along with a pool tournament. We're going to see some beautiful aqua bells go through their routine. We also have a men's and women's swim competition today. Looks like a lot of fun, so please stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to present at this time the beautiful Aqua Bells of Oakwood Estates for 1985 under the direction of choreographer Betty Florian. standing with the beautiful aqua maids here at Oakwood Estates and we have the choreographer Betty Florian here with us and Betty could you just tell us a little bit about what it took to get this group together yes it took a tape with music that we could dance to it took the ladies here every morning for almost two months to practice and it took a lot of hard work that's great, and let me tell you that it really shows you all did a fantastic job. And we've got a group of 20 here, and uh, if we can, we'd like to get everyone's name and where they're from. Well, I'm Betty Florian, and I'm from Palatine, Illinois. Great. I'm Betty Wharton from Columbus, Ohio. Fantastic. I'm Irene Colombo from Barry, Vermont. I'm Wilma Hills from East Syracuse, New York. I'm Chris Anzalone from Long Island, New York. Rita Sanamore, Messina, New York. Dorothy Cochran from Omaha, Nebraska. Vinnie Wilbring from Williamstown, Michigan. Estelle Cook from Beaver Lake, New Jersey. Neary Casey, Portland, Maine. Irma Dorn, Toledo, Ohio. Dorothy Berry, Easton, Pennsylvania. Jerry O'Brien, Cottage Grove, Oregon. Jean Trimmings, Dunham, New York. Stella St. Aubin from Kankakee, Illinois. Grace Hughes, Detroit, Michigan. Martha Lohr from Williamsville, New York. Yvette Carrier from Slatersville, Rhode Island. <laughs> Ethel Schreiner from Chicago, Illinois. Ruth Nosey, Wabash, Indiana. Again, Betty, congratulations to your group of hardworking super senior citizens. With me now is the Seniors Olympic Chairman here, Mr. Bill Fegis. How are you doing today, Bill? Great, great. The weather last week was kind of bad with Hurricane Elena, wasn't it? Yes, it kind of wiped out our events last week, but uh, we decided we would finish it off this weekend. And, and the show must go on, and here we are, right? And we've got a beautiful day for it. 
And as chairman, are you allowed to participate in any event yourself? Oh, yes. I'm allowed. Any member of the committee is allowed. that We can participate. There's no conflict of interest there. Okay. And have you participated, Bill? Yes, I did. In fact, I've uh, won a few medals myself. You know. Well, congratulations, and we enjoyed talking with you here today. Well, it was nice to have Santel come out and cover us. We really appreciated it. And we enjoy being here. Thank you for inviting us. Here we are with Stan Spiewak, who is the coordinator of the men's swim meet here at Oakland the states for super senior citizen uh, Olympics and boy I tell you that was a great race that we saw listen uh, could you tell me a little bit about what it took to organize or coordinate a men's swim meet here there isn't much of it involved just the idea of getting enough people to participate and we didn't have any problem because everybody's very very cooperative and we had nine people uh, in, in all mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it was three teams of three on each team Great. And so you didn't have any problem getting, getting people to, co uh, to cooperate and, and, and get involved. What was the average age of the people participating? Well, from between 60 and 70. With me now is Irma Dorn, and she is the chairwoman of the women's competition in the swimming today. And how did it go? Did it take a lot of training, first of all? Yes. And what I would like to say right off the bat is a lot of the ladies that participated, practically, I would say, 50, half of them are all from the Red Cross swim team. They all just learned how to swim and they got to be in the Olympics. And I thought it's quite an accomplishment, it should be mentioned. And practice came, oh, first across back and forth from the pool. Then got brave, started the length of the pool. And that's how it got established. Now I understand from talking to the chairman earlier, Bill, that indeed two years ago some of your ladies didn't know how to swim at all is that correct that's right they were afraid well younger women at the time careers babies families had no time to do any of this now after coming down here they don't want to get their hair messed up to get <laughs> arthritis sets in and you don't have time either for mostly games no not much of the outdoor things so we got started doing this and got them involved and did you have some fine competition going on today? Yes, very fine. Like I say you're competing with some of the women that did know from the north to come down and swim against the beginners to give them a run for their money. And I guess they did give them a run for their money. Yes, we had a lot of fun doing it also. And then with the balls, we went back and forth on the pool. What is the deal on those balls exactly? What's that called, water polo? <laughs> Similar to relay, but um, I just it's just just competition, yeah, <laughs> bubble bit. Just competition is all. Now that's an idea. You could put some Mr. Bubble in here and have a ball with some bubbles. There's a thought for next year, Irma. No way, no way. <laughs> now why do you say that? <laughs> you get me expelled out of the park. Really? They don't allow bubbles in the bath here? No. Just at home, huh? Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you use it there? Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> Irma Dorn talking with us here, head of the women's swim competition at Oakwood Estates. Thank you, Irma. With me now is Frank Cochran. He is chairman of the horseshoe pitching event here today. And I understand you're right up to some playoffs here. And you're in the playoffs, I'm is that right? Playoffs, yes. For first or second place, and we have another playoff for third and fourth place. And how many people participated today? We only had eight, seven men and one lady. How'd that lady sneak in there? I don't know. She said they didn't have her glasses on. She oh. couldn't see when she signed up. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you yourself been pitching horseshoes over the long haul here, Frank? I guess about 60, about 50 years. Now, I've been watching you gentlemen and that lady you told me about, and you've got some good pitchers here, haven't you? Yes, we have some pretty good pitchers. We play in the wintertime. We play in a league around here and have about seven other parks, and we play once a week. We have some pretty good pitchers. And do you enjoy it? Is it a good form of recreation for you? I think so. I think the fellows do. We have quite a few fellows. We have about 16 fellows that pitch during the wintertime. We have some fellows that are up north now and we will be back next now, month. Is there a standard length here between where yes. you're pitching? Yes. The um, stakes are 40 foot for the men and for the women they're supposed to be 30 feet. And is this pretty much standard? It's standard all over. Okay, yeah. so when you play these other parks then? They should be exactly the same. All right, yeah. so if you go to another park, you should be pitching the same length as you are here in your park. That's right. That's well, right. thank you so much for chatting with us here. Okay, well, we're certainly glad to have you all here today. Thank you. With me right now is Elise Lawton, and I understand you are the only lady participating in the horseshoe tournament today. Is that correct? That's correct. And how did this come about? I didn't have my glasses on, and I thought I signed up for the women's. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, given the fact you signed up for the men, how have you been doing with these fine gentlemen here? As expected, terrible. Oh, no. Are they giving you a little head start there? I noticed oh, you were yeah. coming up a little bit on the uh, horseshoes. Three here. feet, they gave me 10, and I still didn't do any good. Do you think maybe they should have given you 15 with I that? Think they should have let me stop and drop it right down. <laughs> now, be honest. In all the times you tried here today, did you uh, ring any? I got two ringers and one leaner. Very good. I think a little congratulations should be in order here. Congratulations, Elise. Thank you. With me now is Jack Berry. He is the chairman of the pool tournament that's coming up shortly at the clubhouse behind us here at Oakwood Estates. And are you going to participate yourself in this tournament, Jack? Oh, absolutely. And, I'll be in it. and how many men are going to be in the tournament today? There will be ten of us all together. And what type of pool is going to be played? Well, we're going to play eight ball. You call your every shot, and you do not have to bank the eight ball on the final shot. Do most of the men carry their own cues? Most of them do, yes. And do you? I have my own. <laughs> and tell me about yours. Is yours a little bit different than the rest? Well, mine is five pieces, and it was given to me by my son some time ago and it folds up into a nice small box. I see here you're wearing the United States Air Force cap. I assume you were in the Air Force? Mm, yes, I was. And what did you fly? B-17s out of England. And tell me this, just out of curiosity, do you ever fly today? Yes. Do you fly in any private aircraft? Not lately, not for a few years now. Uh -huh. Now, what got you involved in the pool tournament here? I think I happened to be around when the general chairman was looking for, a, for a, somebody to head it up. <laughs> so are we talking about Bill Fegis got you into this? We are talking about Bill Fegis. Uh, mm -hmm. So if anything happens here today that might prove embarrassing to you, we can throw it on his uh, doing then. No, I, I will do that first. <laughs> what are the prizes given out for the pool tournament? Do you know that? Yes, we have um, medals for first, second, and third place, gold, silver, and bronze. And each winner, if they're on a team, each member of the team will get a medal. Or if it's individual, uh, each individual will get whatever medal they, they won. Have the gentlemen been practicing going into this tournament? They practice here all year long. Oh. <laughs> now we come to the swimming events. As you all know, this morning the Aqua Bells put on a pretty good show, a very good show. But then uh, after they were through, we had a lot of fun. The men's swimming relay race, the gold medal winners were Roy Elmer, Art Messingham, and Vic McCauley. Silver medalists were Bill Fiji's, Dale Dorsey, and John Baluch. Uh, the gold medal winners were Mary Casey, Jerry O'Brien, and Yvette Carrier. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, ladies endurance uh, bronze goes to Ruth Dose, Irma Dorn, and Cappy Etter. Now getting on with the horseshoes. <laughs> Our gold medal winner was Frank Cochran. Accepting for Frank Cochran will be Frank Cochran. I knew you could do it, Frank. Woody Oswald was the silver medalist. And Ray Elder was the bronze medalist. And the last event we had was the pool tournament here this afternoon. Roy Almer was the gold medal winner. Frank Cochran was the civil medal winner. And Leroy Smith took the bronze. Yay! This year, the committee decided to give the well-deserved Aqua Bells a plaque recognizing them as a swim group in this park. You know, the history behind this, two years ago, most of the women that participated in the Aqua Bells couldn't swim a stroke. In fact, 85% of them were afraid to get in the pool. <laughs> and look what they did today. Yeah. Last year they put on a spectacular program. Today they outdid themselves. All right, the plaque reads, Mobile, Oakland Stage Mobile Home Park, Super Seniors Olympics, 1985, presented to the Oakland Aquabells, Betty Florian, choreographer. <laughs> you want to accept this, Betty? Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed our visit today to Oakwood Estates Senior Olympics. I'm Dan Hogan. And I'm Carolyn Robinson. Your host tonight for Centel Spotlight. Have a good week.